last year, were you watching the NCAA tournament? Were you watching Tennessee? And did you have a dream in mind of a year from now? Yeah, I mean, I watched. I actually watched Creighton last year in Denver, so it's kind of crazy that we got to play them, and you know, uh, it's definitely something real cool to think like last year I was sitting at home watching these games, now I'm playing in it, so it's definitely something real special for not only just me but also my family. Don, some people don't care about national play of the year and all that, but a lot of people think it's you, Zach Eady. How much you've thought about you know just winning the award, national awards, and what could happen after this? Uh, you know, that award's cool and all, but at the end of the day, I think the national title uh, would be a lot better uh, to go out and be the last team standing. That's the ultimate goal. You know, uh, it's just going to be, I don't really care about that individual award. I'd rather just win, a, win the whole entire thing. You obviously, a lot of people talk about you and what you've been able to do this year and just your dominance. I guess, how much do you admire what Zach Eady's been able to do as another dominant player yeah, at this level? He's done it for two years now, and, you know, you got to admire that and have respect for that, uh, being able to put up those stats for multiple years and stuff like that. So you definitely got to have some respect for him. Uh, and, and you've risen, obviously, on all the mock draft boards. How much, how much have you thought about, you know, your future at the pro level? Um, I mean, I haven't really looked at him too much, but, you know, I'll have friends and family members sent it to me, and, you know, it's something cool, but also... I still got a lot of work to do, and it's, uh, I still want to finish out this season strong and win with all these guys and finish out on top. To, to we, do it from starting at the JUCO level to Northern Colorado to here, I guess, how much more does that add to the journey when you've been able to do it, climb up ladder? Like yeah, it's definitely uh, something special. I mean, not too many people can say that they climbed up that type of, uh, of a ladder. And I think I just showed tons of kids across the nation that you don't have to be the top 10 player in your class or whatever you have to be. You could go Juco or you could go to a mid-major and still find your way at the top of uh, college basketball and still be one of the best players in the nation. When you start off as a 5'8 high school sophomore and you grow and your game grows with it, does that put in a work ethic that even now carries you into this? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, my work ethic has started from my parents. They taught me, you know, just hard work will get you a lot of stuff. And, I can't thank my parents enough. They were always there rebounding or passing me the ball when I was a kid, uh, constantly just in the gym with me, waiting for me, driving me late nights, uh, early mornings, and stuff like that. So definitely uh, my parents are the reason for my hard work. How much were you still settling in during that first match? Yeah, definitely. We, we was all, I think we was a brand new team still. So we uh, were like five games in, and uh, we was just, different you know we had a couple games in Italy and stuff like that but also uh, like I said we were just a brand new team and we were still trying to learn each other's games and he wasn't fully healthy and stuff like that and we we're still trying to find each other's roles and I think we're a completely different team than uh, we faced in the moment. Who do you think you'll notice Sakai being fully healthy in this match of this time around? Uh, I mean he goes out there and plays 40 minutes and shows why he's the best point guard in the nation that's it. How can you help Tobe and Jonas and others who have to deal with that heat down in the post? Uh, I can help them uh, by uh, getting in the ball, hopefully uh, deflecting the pass or making the pass it's super difficult for uh, them to get it into him. And then also, uh, it'll be hard for uh, the rebounding, so I definitely got to come down there and help him rebound. Was there a point near early on that you, that you would have believed that you're at the Elite Eight, one of the faces of college basketball? Uh, I. I, I probably would because, uh, you know, my first phone call with uh, UT, they told me uh, that would happen and all this would happen would be one of the best teams and stuff like that. And they could turn me into a pro at the end of this uh, season. And, you know, I can't thank them enough for uh, that and having the belief in me.